Welcome everybody to our Legend of Zelda review. Today we will be going over each of the categories that we went in our last video and scoring them for this title in the series. Predictions on how it's going to fare against uh, the Minish Cap guys. I think um, it's going to be gold! Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, let's go ahead and start right off the bat with the first category, which is story. So, the story for the original game it is, is... It's very simple, yeah. but it's to the point. It is yes. to the point, and basically how it introduces the story is kind of like in a Star Wars yeah. kind of sc scroll of the words in a paragraph of, <laughs> I guess, like the background, the point to what you're doing, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but, I mean, if you don't, if you don't stop and read the words or let it run in or read that. the game manual <laughs> or read the game manual which probably a lot of people don't have <laughs> when they play this game i mean not anymore yeah um you would not know what the story is going into it but i mean it's pretty simple it's just what just uh ganon splitting one of the triforce pieces into Eight. No, no, is it Ganon no, or Zelda? Ganon has the Triforce of Power. Okay. And then Zelda. Zelda's Triforce piece is oh, shattered yeah. across Hyrule. Into the eight dungeons. Yeah. Or whatever. And eight then levels. Link runs into Impa, maybe? I In the manual it says he yeah. does, but yeah. we don't see it. We don't count that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then Link is just set on his journey to collect the eight pieces. And say Princess Zelda. There's really not much more to it. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's only like three or four characters. Link, Zelda, Ganon, Old Man. <laughs> there's also a witch who sells potion. There's and the also gambling Grumble guy. Grumble. Oh uh, yeah. You know, Grumble Grumble's my favorite character. Yeah. Right. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> Almost line of so text. I mean, let's just cut to the chase on the story. That's not really what the original game excels at, but but I think it it, it, fits it works. Well. It yep. works, but won't say it's you know the best story in gaming history. I don't know. But I will say, like for the time, it really, especially for the game, it really fits. You know, just you're thrown into this adventure. You're only given this little bit amount of information. Right. You have to figure out the rest for yourself right 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 so oh. all right hopefully you all can see this six five eight whoa <laughs> wow well, i didn't think it would i but think like the minute it's relative story is better than the original i mean i don't think so why is body that whole story is not really explained too much. But, anyways. But there's more characters and. Well, did we get the characters yet? I don't think so. That was story and characters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So, now on to the second category <laughs> <laughs> the overworld. So, this is the part that the original game really excels at. Um, just like, honestly pretty memorable overworld i hadn't played it in years yet i still you know was able to remember yeah i forgot it right away <laughs> yeah <it talks> to <laughs> you. that was all well, it's fine. just like i feel like it's such an iconic... i like i remember all the places just yeah not the order maybe the navigation yeah <laughs> um but it's such an iconic map in my opinion just like I like just how... the progression Ooh. of the map, just like the farther you get away from the starting point, it increases in difficulty and like you as well as the dungeons. Get a map when you first get the box and then it shows right. you the first two dungeons and then you have to figure out what you need to do in order to beat That yeah. I wish they could do for the current titles, but yeah. Um, any negatives about the overworld? No, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any at all. <laughs> I do think that I mean it is kind of old school, but I will give it what it deserves 
Honestly, for the over. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Our first ten in the entire series here. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Minish Cap. Did not, not get that great. any tens. I it's don't just <laughs> this game just has such an iconic overworld. Even though you know it's not as fleshed out as more modern titles, um, it just the way it flows. I don't know. It just feels organic, and I don't know. And the exploration, I guess, is part of the category, too. It's just, like, so many things to discover. All the, you know, dungeons. That, that's what kind of what I want to see in future Zelda titles. It's just you run across a dungeon instead of, like, here's where it's at. Mm-hmm. Go here. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. You know. um, all like, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The third category is dungeons. So I think that our scores are going to be a little bit different here. I think that... For the time, they're, you know, pretty amazing. But I think... <laughs> I feel like they're lacking a little bit, yeah. for sure. They they do have some smart dungeon design and, like, yeah. the layout, but they didn't really have the puzzles to go with it, the enemies to go with it. Right. And then yeah. just, like, the... Yeah, uh, but there's also, like, nine levels, nine dungeons. There are That's a lot huge of... huge amount. There are a lot of dungeons. It's just the variety isn't that great. No, it isn't. It's the same if you, type tiles, just if you showed me a, yeah, if you showed me a picture of a room in one of the dungeons, most likely I wouldn't be able to tell you which dungeon it's from. It's just like if it was obviously like that's part of like scale. Basically. That's part of uh, the hardware system. Yeah, hardware it limitations. Is, but but we, mean, have to, we have to we have to judge this yeah, game right. partially. But then you look at like Link's Awakening, which is also an eight bit game, and just the amount that they did with that one. But versus... they also had other games and then more details and added stuff. Yeah, yeah. Th- this out. was a good this was the starting... first right. game, so it's hard to make the best ideas. Yeah. So it's a good starting point, but this is where we're at. Seven, six, seven. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next category is the combat and controls. Oop. Um, <laughs> All right. And the sorry. next, the next category is the combat and controls. So. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Four directions of movement. The combat is okay. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to say it's like the most complicated combat. I mean, they do, you know, have certain enemies that can only be attacked from certain sides. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Yeah, but so then you have to like maneuver yourself in order to swing your sword and hit them. Um... So, well, I like the combat in this game because it's not like a hack and slash like some other games. I mean, it is a hack and slash. Well, more like you had to think about what your opponent is, let alone just swinging your sword. Because if you're reversing a dark nut, you have to know how you have to hit them by the side or back. Right. If it's a wizard rope, make, make sure they might teleport out and try to attack you from behind. So you have to be careful. It's very different from... It's a, lot Today's, of, it's a lot of positioning. It's yourself. probably because of the dungeon layout too could factor into this. As in, since it's not as big of a room where an enemy can spawn in, they had to, the people who made the game has to figure out how it would challenge the person. Right. And you gotta maneuver your way from getting hit by the fireballs or whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah I won't say that I'm gonna have any pity points for it since I mean I understand that it's old but I don't want to give it a whole lot of credit for it's combat and controls I guess I don't know I don't know how you guys feel but <laughs> <laughs> yeah I have to give it a five. I'll give it a six. Six. All right. So, kind of average. Yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah. It's not horrible. It's 
not the worst controls in a video game, but... I think this is the first time... I would say that they definitely improved upon the controls in basically every other title. <laughs> I think the Manish Cap did better in combat controls because yeah, of no. the, all the different, different. combat all right. items you can get, I guess. And it's pretty interesting to find something that Manish Cap did good in. Did Wait, well what? In. <laughs> did well in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next category is going to be items. So <laughs> there's like there it's are so technically odd. there's a lot of items. Actually. No, really? What do you mean? Well, there's like item upgrades, I should say too. Like the yeah. regular boomerang, the magical boomerang, which makes the it candle, go further. the magic candle. <laughs> so it's used more than once. Then you got the wand, then the book to upgrade the wand to shoot fire. <laughs> with it and then you got like the i think one of my favorite items now is gonna be even though i said it when i was playing my other legend of zelda games the key to have unlock all rooms right which which they stole from zelda too <laughs> I won't say okay. So you get a decent amount of items in this game. Some of them are more passive items. I think so you get like six items that you much. can equip are like the bow, the boomerang, the magical wand, the bombs, the potion, the potion, yeah, <laughs> the meat or or the bait, I guess, and then the flute. So. If we throw away the flute, the meat. <laughs> Why? No, the, the, the flute can let you fast really travel. Helpful. Oh, I guess it does let you teleport around. But in terms of the meat, it only is like a one-time use. Yeah. Meat to one-time use, and then I think. No, I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. But the bow, the <clears throat> magical wand, and the boomerang, like they definitely give them more uses in the future titles. Like, for solving puzzles and just being more different from each other. But I feel like in this game, like, I don't know how much you guys use the bow, but once I got that magical wand, like, they didn't even touch the bow again until I had to kill, uh, what was it, Gliok? Not... Oh, the no, it's... Go... go Goma? Not Goma. No, 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 no. No, it is Goma. Yeah, Goma. Oh, it is Goma? Goma. Yeah. So I didn't use the bow until I had to kill the bow. And then, as well as the bow, I didn't have to use the bow either. The exact opposite for me. I never pick up the magical wand, and I always use the bow instead. I think they should have just made the fourth dungeon. You can just go in and make another heart piece, like a bumble wall or a fireplace for a bush. Instead, you use the raft to go into a fourth dungeon or to go get a heart piece. Yeah. Which isn't the best for that. So, I won't say that Zelda 1 has the most exciting items in the series, but they are the first set of equipment, you know, that you get. Ooh, I forgot series. about the power uh, The ring. power ring. Power The bracelet. thing that you can move, like, three different rocks. Well, I'm just saying it's an <laughs> item that yeah. people forget. This is hard, honestly, for me to judge this game. <laughs> I have um, a six. Seven. Seven. Alrighty. On to puzzles. the puzzles of the game. Puzzles. puzzles. So, I do like the Lost Woods and like the, the yep. mountain, basically. Yeah. That one's a good, those are good ones. Those are cool ones. But mm, some of them are just kill all the enemies in the room, you open, or yeah. get to open the door. I don't even know if I would consider the ones that to be in, a puzzle. It's yeah. technically one, but like, the ones in the dungeons aren't that good, but the ones in the overworld are kind of good. Yeah. You know? If you consider like, just like trying to find the bushes to burn, yeah, and stuff like the, well, what the, that the be dungeon extra itself conduct or extra con, extra the bush, but like the bush to get That's to the eighth dungeon though, it's like oh, it's yeah. alpha puzzle. Yeah, 
Yeah. With a riddle. Yeah. So the puzzles are more explore, ex, <laughs> explorative, which is yeah. really what this game is mostly. Right. So it's not going to have any puzzles that we see in the future games that, you know, you have to really think about, mm -hmm. you know, like the, like the water temple or just other dungeons that are like mechanical, like you have to adjust like stuff that's happening in the dungeon. Zelda 1 doesn't have any of that. Yeah. But. And then the puzzles are kind of like also just pushing a block in a room. Yeah, which is a bit sad. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know what I can. I don't know what I'm going to give this on puzzles because, like, some of it's cool, but then, I mean, it, it isn't until the future titles that really, you know, have puzzles being a big part of the series <sighs> all right i'm gonna give it a four <laughs> i'll give it a six i'll give it a seven <laughs> i'm being nice to this game but i really shouldn't yeah all right so now for the enemies and bosses so really? I think this is another part of the game where it excels, especially for an early video game. Like in terms of console. yeah, what it was well, at the time. Every like, enemy, it's all new. Yeah, to the like series, the, yeah. To the, the pose that jump. Oh, yeah. on like have actual like verticalness. The whiz robes that diagonally move. They the well, light lights, the keys, the, the yeah. snake or the yeah. ropes, not snakes, ropes. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, enemies in this game seem more inspired than even some of, like, the Minish Cap enemies, which are just kind of mindless. Yeah, really stupid. <laughs> in this game, I mean, they do any of them react to you, or is it just, in like, this? they have patterns? Yeah, the they hand, all... or the one that grabs you. Oh, yeah, the hand. Yeah. yeah, this game, like, created a lot of really great enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Lionel's. Yep, even Lionel's. That shoot at you. <laughs> yeah. It created a lot of series staples. <laughs> Zoras that also shoot at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they're where, River Zoras? Or yeah, they're River, River Zolas. Zolas? 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 Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, it's... River Zolas. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> something weird. But I mean, there's a good diversity of enemies, honestly. Especially for an early title. Uh, the bosses. There's a lot of them. But they, they do, do reuse. They are, the seventh one is the yeah actually yeah they do reuse them as mini bosses later. But I think they're still pretty good bosses on their own. Yeah. Seventh is just a reuse of everything. So I mean it's not. I think that that was just the dungeon gimmick versus mm -hmm. a, a harsh critique on the uh, all the bosses and dungeons. Mm -hmm. The so item you get in that is the red candle, but you already could get the candle earlier, which also the item is a reuse too, which you can already buy. Hmm. If you already know where all the secrets are for the candle or to light up one room because you only can use it once and then you can't use it again, the red candle you can use it multiple times, so that's the only difference really between it, but 7 was just a reuse of pretty much every enemy. There's one boss that is kind of lame. Which <laughs> one? The one that you play like the flute, and then he like shrinks mm -hmm. into a the small fifth dungeon? eye. I don't remember the number of the dungeon, but yeah. Mm -hmm. He just kind of like shrinks into... It, basically what well, I think it is, is like he's shrinking so you can hit his eye or something yeah. like that. But I mean, it's more like a puzzle than a combat situation, which is fine. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. I like the dongos. They were pretty cool. Yeah. Sure, they were easy, but I just like them. Yeah. They were really fun. Like, when, when you're first playing and don't know to use bombs, you're like, why can't I hit it? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, when you do learn bombs, you're like, ah, I gotta get close, I'm hurt. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm still think figuring, about, figuring it out. Yeah. Now do I think about it, like, there are a good amount of uh, bosses in this game that require, like, specific items instead of just... 
I guess, swinging your sword at it. I guess it requires you to kind of experiment to figure them out. The mm -hmm. first dungeon, you can only you can use your sword. The third dungeon, it's easier with a bomb, but you can use your sword. Uh, let's see, what's the fourth dungeon? Do you remember the Dude, boss? I don't because uh -huh. all the dungeons <laughs> <laughs> are very similar. <laughs> are very similar to me. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you the layout or anything. All right. Well, all right. let's get our scores. Go. Eight. Ten. Nine. All right. All right. So now on to the eighth category, which is the gimmick. So in the Minish Cap, it was like the sh shrinking into small size, the splitting into multiple lengths, as well as the kin stones. <laughs> uh, so for this game, we kind of discussed b before... Uh, making this video because uh, it's kind of hard to think of what the gimmick would be for this game since you know it doesn't really have you know s some really specific that you can do with Link you know <laughs> sure um, so I guess saving would be the gimmick for this game which seems kind of weird but at the time saving was like no I mean, the way that you would save is that it would give you, like, a passcode to, uh... Save the game. Well, to basically load a state. Like, load a certain part of the game so that you can continue where you left off. Instead of, like, this game where you are collecting, you know, your gear and whatnot. And so now you can save the progress that you made, like, you know, defeating the dungeons and collecting, you know, a certain amount of rupees and... It, it, you know, saves from where you left off, which is a pretty big thing, not only for the series, but <laughs> for gaming in general. Yeah. Um, but I won't say, like, like, I'm still gonna honestly give it a 10 because of how influential it is, but I'm not gonna say it's, like, a standout, <laughs> you know, I mean, like, I really it. think... It, I mean, you it, don't really think of you it take as it for... It's, it's really just kind of revolutionizing right. play. Right. Last second, three of us have got all tens. I mean, in it's category. very important to the game. Yes, <laughs> the game play. <laughs> yeah, it's very important to almost every game now. It would have been too insane and if you insane couldn't if save. You had to start oh, yeah. from the very beginning. Like, like, imagine if you died at a dungeon and were sent back to the beginning. Oh, yeah, what is like that? Like in whole... Zelda 2? Well, yeah, <laughs> you know, like in Zelda, Zelda 2, 2, you could get back easy. Ah, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I, I won't complain too much about it, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so now for the ninth category, which is going to be pacing. So this game... The sixth dungeon is annoying and I don't like it. Alright, so the pacing. pacing of this game, you get to choose it. Honestly, you get to play it as quickly as you want to. Or it doesn't, as slow as you want. You yeah, can or as slow. You can just run around and explore. Mm -hmm. Like, if it, even if it's your first time playing and you're not going to figure out all the secrets right away, you can still, like, run into a dungeon and decide whether or not you want to, you know, complete it or not. And if it's too hard for you, you can always leave it and go find another dungeon. Which could be harder, but you can beat first, and it doesn't really matter, but make you get a heart piece and might be easier for the next dungeon. Right, so you kind of choose your own pacing. So I, I can't complain about it at all. It doesn't slow you down. It's just like... The... And never waste your time with needless stuff. Yeah, right. Like it... diminish cap. Yeah, that game constantly yeah, did that. Yeah. I want to go to this dungeon. No. Talk to <laughs> random minish person. Yes. You have to beat that dungeon. To do some of that to extra stuff, you got to make sure you fuse that kinstone with that random person you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> got to find seen. those three books. <laughs> yep, got to find those three books. <laughs> Where was, why wasn't it on the bookshelf earlier? Oh, you someone remember? stole it. <laughs> Guess someone, yeah. Just doing chores for 
random people so you can move on to the good stuff in the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Pacing. Ten. All right. I'll give it a ten. It's a ten on pacing. Ten, ten, ten. I can't. There's not. There's no negatives about it, honestly. I mean, you could get stuck, obviously, with this game because some of the stuff is hidden. But when you go back and play it, the pacing is perfect. Even though Dungeon 6 is really hard compared to the first <laughs> five dungeons, man, it is like, holy crap. What? Why? But it's still good. Yeah. It's good, it's good at Wizard. Yeah. Those really ropes aren't that bad. Yeah, Dark Nuts. They're dark not Nuts bad. are bad. No, they're not that bad. <laughs> they're pretty easy. I guess, like, if it's your first time playing the game, like, obviously you could get stuck and feel like the game has slowed down, but most of the time it kind of gives you, like, a clue if you explore the dungeons well enough on it can what to do. Right. And, yeah. It just wants to... It's It's... You know, the type of game it is. It, ex experiment, explore. Yeah, so. <laughs> can't say much. Alright, so now the bonus content in the game. So there's. A whole nother game. Yeah, there's a whole nother <laughs> game. That. Yeah, there's, there's a whole nother no set other game of dungeons that are that positioned can... in some new spots. Nearly every. The dungeon like... layout's different. Yeah. All right. Nearly every square. In the game, like has a secret. Not everyone, but like you they mean, said, like, most map on, per square. Yeah, on overworld, yeah, like overworld. just those little squares. There's usually a secret. Mm -hmm. and everyone, I think it's there's a lot of uh, good stuff. Right. So that's the big standout bonus upgrades. content. But yeah. then there's also all the upgrades that you can find around the world that you don't need. The magical but boomerang, the book. Extremely satisfying to find and. Yeah use i guess i don't know um yeah i mean i don't know what i'm gonna give it <laughs> oh this is really hard because like i can't okay. say that's perfect because the dungeons aren't perfect this isn't bonus yeah i know it's or this bonus, is bonus not... content not dungeons you see yeah. what I'm doing. but it's not it's not just about the Story quantity pair. of bonus content, but the quality of it. Which yeah, it? upgrades, things to make you more powerful. The more you yeah. explore, which is all right. Yeah. What? You're right. No, I right? no, no. I agree oh, okay. with you. I'm like, well, I don't know what Matt's thinking. Like the fact that if you explore, you get better. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'm gonna give it a nine. I'll give it a ten. <laughs> I'll give it a ten. <laughs> I don't know why I give it a nine. Yeah, right. I don't know anything wrong with it. I just, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So, rounding up the tally. We ended up getting a 79.66. So, we'll be rounding that up to a 80 out of 100. So, that scored 31 more points on our scale <laughs> than the Minish Cat. You gotta be, Zona. Good job. Yeah. We definitely predicted that it was going to yeah. do a lot right. better yeah, than, the, man, than the Minish Cap. What? Yeah, we definitely predicted that it was going to do a lot better than the Minish Cap. What? I you mean, serious? I don't remember what, <laughs> how we I ranked. thought the Minish Cap was going to be like number two or one. I feel like Minish Cap is going to be one of the lower ones. bottom tier games, I guess. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like Skyward Sword? No. Right next to the yes. I game. honestly think that Skyward Sword will do better than Manish Cat once we play it, but who knows with these two. Alrighty, so now that we have finished the Minish Cap and the Legend of Zelda, we have seventeen games left. So we get to draw? I believe Matthew. Yeah. You drew Minish Cap and I drew Zelda one. Sure, why not? Yeah, I don't know. Alrighty, time to shake up the it's cup. It's Zelda what 20. Is... Zelda 2. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Oh god. Oh god. A link ah, between worlds. Okay. In my opinion, I think it's going to be in between these two. I Yeah, that's going to be in between it's... the worlds. <laughs> 
In between. Good one. <laughs> All right, so our third game is going to be A Link Between Worlds, the 3DS title that is, I guess, a sequel to A Link to the Past. It, I mean, it basically takes the entire world from A Link to the Past, alters it a little bit, and then adds in a few more mechanics, but still don't think it's better than the A Link to the Past, but, you know, it's going to fit in Your between... Opinion. <laughs> I don't think any of us here think that A Link Between Worlds is better than <laughs> the A Link to the Past. Okay. I guess, <laughs> I guess Nick might. I'm sure A Link to the Past is better. Yeah. But. By yeah. like a point or two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, yep. Stay tuned and we'll get that review for A Link Between Worlds out to you. Thanks yeah. for thanks for in the next two weeks. Thanks. Sure, next week we'll see. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we put it out, you'll see it. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.